particular Dame Dash and Fat Joe. Who? Back and forth. What happened about that? Um, Make another hose. Oh yeah. Um Dame and Dame Dash said, Why the fuck would I make another hole? That he that he was double dipping out the pot. Oh, how you feel about that? Man, listen. Every day they get this nigga <laughs> drunk on camera and he says nah, I don't do Dame Dash shit. like that. No, nah, I'm doing I'm saying it, bro. This is the truth, bro. This nigga get drunk. You can see he be drunk, his words be slurred and shit. That's his words be slurred because he got that grill in. Well, that too, but you can tell he's <laughs> and he don't have no drink in his hand anytime he's doing an interview. Bullshit. He had a drink in his ba- hand. Maybe weed. Maybe no weed. weed. And he's he very, and he's very articulate with his words, also. But so go ahead. this shit is thirty years ago, bro, and you just keep coming. Well, out why everybody bro, keep bro. asking him then? Shit, <laughs> that's, that's what that's I don't understand. Point. Why he y'all don't said, ask Jay Z? Here we go. He why y'all don't said, ask Jay Z? Shit. He said, "Y'all niggas scared of Jay Z." I wasn't gonna talk about the Jay Z shit no more, but he keep doing it. They keep asking him the questions. Shit. Hey, I'll be like, "Yo, man, I don't want to talk about that no more." Oh, he should just get up and walk out the interview when, whenever they ask him, right, huh, TJ? He should just get up out the interview. I mean, if you don't want to talk about Jay Z, yeah. But I mean, that's not. I don't think that's his. He talks about Jay Z, but I think it's like more like to get to a point that he's trying to make. That's how I be feeling about it. Like he ain't really. Well, Dan Dash on some other shit. They man. ask him that about Jay Z. He is not stunning Jay Z. Hey, if you're talking about him like this, then you stunning him. I feel like when he be talking about Jay Z, it's like they do ask him about that, but then he always tries to. He always makes it about something else. Like he tries to make exactly. it about something else. About and his business, was- about other stuff he's doing. He don't give a fuck about that nigga. He don't care about that shit. Nobody gives a fuck about that shit but everybody else. That nigga do not care about that Rockefeller shit. Yes, huh? He do. So why you keep so why keep asking him? Why keep asking him? You know he don't freeway give a fuck. CD you know he you know he gonna Rockefeller turn up. Record. Mm-hmm. I thought Freeway he was. you tell it that Dan Dash and has shit to do with Rockefeller being built. Yeah, he do. He is the CEO or he's still the CEO president of Rockefeller Records. They ain't never but fired him. I, I remember you saying Dan Dash and had nothing to do with Rockefeller being built. No, I remember you I saying that, that specifically. No, I said that the nigga, what 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 did he do besides get him the deal? He got him the deal, yeah, but he not doing as, as a, a nigga in his statue, let's say Puff Daddy, let's align ourselves. Let's separate the bullshit from Puff Daddy. Even less. Let's do do Suge Knight. Dame and Suge Knight. Let's do both of them, right? Them niggas is the executive producers on every CD. Dame ain't the executive producer, but on like one CD. He ain't ain't pick no beats. He ain't do none of that shit. He ain't put his name on none of the songs. No, none of that. All the all the rest of the niggas that's the president and CEO of companies like that is always the executive producer of the CD. They always got their name on the back of the CD. When you buy your CD and you look on the back in the left hand corner, that bitch say executive produced by the nigga in charge of that record label. Jimmy Iovine ain't never went in the studio and did no shit. His name is on the back of every Interscope CD that come out. Mm. And that be the difference, bro. It's like I didn't say it. I'm just saying what. I'm just agreeing with some of the stuff that Irv Gotti said. I don't agree with shit Irv Gotti said. Irv Gotti had like he looked look like he about to commit suicide or some oh, shit. I don't know what's up with that nigga. Nah, that nigga on mean, some weird old goofy he shit. He got a three hundred million dollar deal. He ain't about to commit no suicide. Yeah. That nigga on some weird old shit. This nigga still be talking about Ashanti. And <laughs> Stop, still nigga. be talking about Stop, Jay. The nigga. relationships ended at the same time. <laughs> Let it go. Stop, Both nigga. of them. Both Dame of them. Dash Let is doing go. way more shit than Irv Gotti is. No. Dame Dash is on some whole other shit. Shout out to America New. Dame yeah. Dash Network. America New is cool, but shout out to Tell. And he got shout other shit going on, too. Irv, Irv just ain't out here just walking around doing nothing. Yeah, I know. He out here keep on talking about Ashanti like he think he finna get that back. Nigga, sit your goofy ass down. Nigga, you not finna get that, nigga. Let it's that shit go. Hard. It's all the way over for that. He they shouldn't have let him talk about that. And when Ja Rule stopped him, he should have stopped talking about it. But he yeah. didn't. 
So Jaru tried but, to stop it, but he didn't listen to his right hand man. So he was on TV looking goofy. And then but a lot about all that. Dash don't have nobody around him to be like, hey man, don't answer that damn question, bro. I fuck with damn Dash. Well, fuck also, that. both of you. Fuck, that. fuck all that. Fuck all that. Answering to another man and the shit about Leo, Leo Cohen, too. Oh, the Leo Cohen is good. That's cool. Nah, I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with that motherfucker. Nah, uh uh-uh. uh. No, I heard some of the stuff damn Dash about said, said about him in that Willie D interview, too. It what don't he sound far fetched. Leor is cool. Leor be nah, out here rendering you? black deaths in his music. He signed the whole three hundred. So if he signed why the whole three hundred, why why you why is it okay for Leor Cohen to make money off off of our culture? Go to your own culture and go make money off of your culture. Why you come over here making money off of our culture? Well, we never owned exactly. Hip-hop, so. Exactly. We never own hip hop, so they can make. Yeah, money we we never will. <laughs> I ain't worried about that. We'll never own that shit. So that's the culture. The culture is based off of hip hop, and we ain't never owned it. So, so let other people that's not from our culture come tell us what what is and what isn't. Well, when they own uh, the company, uh, we got off the topic, but. Hey, when you when they own the companies and you asking them for the money to make the CD and you're looking for a deal, then unfortunately that's the way that the cookie crumbles. Or you can go the independent route, or you can put your own money up, and then boom, you got. No, black got. people just as a whole need to just work and have. We need to have our own shit away from everybody. There's well, no reason great. for us not well, to have our own shit from every away a, from everybody. Why is the fuck we depending on it, white people or we other people from other it. cultures? You just celebrated it. Some we we following somebody else's dream of integration when segregation was the best thing for us. Oh, you think? But you hey, think? You, oh, okay. I was I was hearing yeah, some stuff about that's somebody that else's dream. Yeah, that's somebody else's dream, bro. That dream was not meant for all black people, and we've been fucked up ever since we. Okay, well, the ones that don't want it, fuck them, slide them to the side, and the ones that do, let's get to it and make it happen. Shit. Bottom line. Like it worked when we were like the man said it worked when we were forced to work together when we were forced to live together and be around each other and go to black doctors and lawyers and gas stations and grocery stores and shit the shit worked we were educated more we had more money in the neighborhood the black Hmm. dollar stayed in the neighborhood way longer than it ever had did now that this nigga had a dream and they broke up the black neighborhood this shit has been in despair. Then you add crack and you add the rest of the redlining and the rest of the shit they was doing and it's still it's over. Well, how about what if we be like, well, they uh created hip hop to another way to manipulate us. They didn't create that well, they didn't create hip hop. They just they manipulated hip hop to control us. They mm. found ways to just make this shit a business and for them to capitalize majority from this shit. While we get the scraps, or while the artists get the scraps, that's all. They just made sure they found a way to capitalize and patent it, <laughs> patent it, this shit. Yeah, they still, yeah they we'll we'll make it. y'all think y'all own this shit, but we you really own this shit. <laughs> what do they invent? They don't. They ain't invent shit, but genocide and and murder and, and super slavery. What else did they instilling? You know what I'm saying? Like yo. They can't invent shit. They ain't put shit together. Well, sound like uh, somebody need to come up with a solution instead of all the uh, the loose lip jabber drawing. Somebody need to come up with a reason, something to do. This shit ain't gonna keep. It's gonna keep running around in a circle. That's it. Cause don't know, ain't no don't know, enough black people don't want don't want to nah, stand up and do black shit. People. It's not even about black people. It's about America. To me, it is. No, listen, I'm not worried about no other nationality or no another no, race. No, 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 no. I'm I'm using the whole America as a whole. I'm not using it doesn't even have to be broken down into racism, right? So look at all the other countries in the world. They come together and they stand up for what they believe in. Look what's happening in France right now in Germany. What about South Africa? Dropping, yeah, and they dropping the doo doo all on the and they dropping the shit all through the streets for the farmers and stuff. They put manure everywhere because they don't like the laws and the rules. They doing all of this shit. They coming together to break the government. 
we ain't never going to do that because it, it's not built like that in America. Niggas is comfortable. They don't want to lose their jobs. They don't want to mm. lose their cars and homes and all that mm. other shit that we got popping, the stuff that they think is important. They don't want to lose their status in life to really stand up and be somebody that, and be a true American if you want to be like that and to stand up and withhold the Constitution. Niggas ain't going to do that. Because we've been allowed, and not only that, we got a bunch of ignorant ass black people it. out here, shit that be on dumb shit and be on fuck shit. Yeah, by constitution, we've been allowed to th- overthrow these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Overthrow these niggas, taxation without representation, all of that is going on right now on our watch, and nobody is doing nothing about it. And we keep letting these old white fogey dead vampire ass motherfuckers be uh senators politicians presidents and shit like that bro and ain't ain't nothing gonna ever change because them niggas is racist they all racist joe biden are racist they are all racist bro and so and we, my we, thing we gonna do that my thing with dame dash is this and we can <laughs> you know, i mean we, i don't know y'all want to get up but my thing is this bro at the end of the day, how can you call yourself a man or go home to your kids and expect them when you getting up going to work for somebody else, answering to somebody else? Bottom line. Cause nigga, that's the hundred year plan. Dame Dash be talking that dumb shit like this is some shit that just No, Dame Dash ain't that, talking no dumb shit. Yes, <laughs> he he, he making shit happen. That nigga clocked in too. <laughs> he got his he own shit going on. Too. He ain't dependent on nobody for nothing. Did they own he ain't dependent on nobody for nothing. See, did there you go. You still bringing up Rockefeller. Rockefeller. Did they own 100%? No, they did not own a, uh, 100% of Rockefeller. They no, already they had plans to sell no, that, listen, sir. No, they could be not be in charge of none of the shit that they said they was in charge of because Def Jam they already was the had plans in to sell that, sir. Rockefeller Records. So that nigga was clocking in every day, too, at Rockefeller Records, bro. Don't let they that already had plans to sell Rockefeller, sir. That nigga was going. He did not own 100% of Rockefeller Records, so it was a job. Like he said, if you do not own a and I just told you, they had plans on hey, already s- to sell that, that and split that, hey, sir. Did he or did he not say if you do not own a hundred percent of it, it is not yours? He said that in the DJ Envy interview. He did not own a hundred percent of Rockefeller. You keep talking about Rockefeller back then. You talk about a white now, <laughs> and he worked for a white man named Leroy Cohen who ran Def Jam. So all that shit that he be talking is ass backwards, nigga. You got to go to work and no, it's not. Family. It ain't no fucking farms. It no, he's no not. Farms. It ain't no none of that shit around here. He ain't never kissed Leroy Cohen ass. He always checked him whenever he was out of line for shit, man, which I never really seen nobody else black day. do. I never, I ain't never seen Jay Z do that. I ain't never seen Jay Z do that. Do what? I ain't never seen Jay Z do that. Do what? Thank you. Jay Z ain't never what? checked Leo Cohen about nothing. Just because you never seen it, don't mean it didn't happen, though. That's, yeah, no. just because you ain't never seen yeah, it. Don't mean come you on, bro. Jay Z look like a nigga that just hush mouth. I'm gonna keep. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. shit real. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Jay Z look like he was a hush mouth ass nigga. Hey, every time yeah, he was. Hey, every time there was a situation that happened with Rockefeller, yo camp nigga, you went on vacation somewhere, nigga. You decided not to be around, nigga. That nigga was a hush what? mouth what ass mean? nigga. Who, I don't fuck with that nigga. That nigga, that nigga, I don't Jay-Z fuck with that nigga. Jay-Z is Rockefeller. Name another artist besides Jay-Z <laughs> that went platinum at Rockefeller. When Rockefeller was Rockefeller, when he went on vacation. Like Name I said, bro, I already said black. what I said about Jay-Z, and I stand yeah, on no, what I said. No, because you can't, nigga, because it wasn't no other one. Like so I just said, I already said what I said. Before Cameron showed up, before Cameron showed up at Rockefeller, it was only two niggas that went platinum. It was fucking Jay-Z and Memphis Bleak. Cameron was already popping before he went to Rockefeller. What did hey. you talk about, bro? Yeah, he was no, he was. <laughs> what did you talking about? And Cameron is the re- Jay and gold. Dame Dash the reason. Dame Dash is the reason why Cameron came over there. Just like Dame Dash, the reason why Kanye made it over there. How? So what are you How? talking about? The reason Kanye was with Rockefeller. He's the reason five why years Dame Kanye Dash got signed. signed to Rockefeller, not Jay Z. Jay Z ain't had nothing really do with Kanye signed. He was already on there he as a was producer. Five years at Rockefeller before Dame But Jay Z ain't the reason why he was over there. Jay-Z Dame Dash nobody. is the reason why. Jay Z ain't the nigga signing niggas. He's the CEO and the and the biggest artist on the label. Didn't you he just say Jay Z was that nigga? He's he supposed to be the big. He's supposed crazy. to be the boss, right? He's yeah, supposed, he supposed to be the big. He's supposed to be big dog, right? Himself. He not the boss of other niggas. Yo. Come on, bro. So, 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 so why every time something happened, happen, this nigga saying nigga. slick shit, but How then this nigga never be Michael around? Jackson sign? How many niggas did Michael Jackson sign? 
Yeah. We're not talking no. about Michael J. We're talking about Jay-Z. Yeah, uh, Dan about Dash and uh, Jay-Z. I ain't talking about You're Rockefeller, bro. Rockefeller been, been over. I don't even know why you still talk about Rockefeller. Rockefeller been over 20 years ago. Just like Dan Dash be telling y'all. Why, why y'all keep asking me questions about Rockefeller? That shit been over. Ask Jay-Z. Why y'all niggas don't ever just ask Jay-Z? And, and he, like he just y'all scared of Jay-Z? Hey, the contradiction of Dame Dash, he said Rockefeller over, but then just the other day, he, he said, yeah, over. you can watch American right. New and Freeway CD coming out on Rockefeller Records. Rockefeller ain't dead. It's still alive. Because he's starting he's his own Rockefeller. Rockefeller. That's his own but shit. it's over with, though. But it's over with, though. Just like he said. He okay, and watch, if people want to tap into that, in. And like, like watch that and take in, that content, then they can do in. that. He had to clock in. They uh Dev Jam owned the fifty percent of the motherfucking company. He owned thirty three percent of the company. He fucking clocked in. No, he didn't even own thirty three percent. He owned, what do you what Bruh, is fifty percent? Dame Dash and Jay Z both put their hey, bread up to start Rockefeller. What's fifty percent divided by three? He like I just said, Dame Dash and Jay Z both put their money up. To start and Rockefeller, and he's do you know? In. Do you know the very, the very dudes, the very dudes that shitted on Jay Z when Jay Z was trying to come up and put out that, come out with that old fast rapidly rap bullshit. <laughs> the very dudes that shitted on Jay Z that passed on him, like Kevin Lyles and Leo Leo Cohen, that would passed up on him. Look what happened. The only person that believed in Jay Z besides Dame Dash and Biggs. Okay, business now, look. is business. They was not friends. Oh, so business, so business, so business like over morals and shit, friends. morals and principles, huh? All no, right, it cool. Ain't no, rules that, rules no, that's rules all you gotta say. That's business. all you gotta say. It's just cool, man. Listen, it's cool. Business. It's ain't cool, bro. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm not gonna argue with you, man. If if the very listen, I'm not gonna argue with you. If the very niggas, I'm not gonna argue with you. Come on, man. What makes you? I'm not gonna argue with you. Let, let, how many times I gotta say that? Though. But let him get his point crazy. out, though. Hey, that's like saying Puff Daddy was supposed to give niggas good record deals when white niggas ain't giving niggas good record deals. That's not. I don't smart. give a fuck about white niggas and getting good yeah, record deals. Are, I'm talking about damn dad. Oh, oh, I'm talking about that. I don't cry that. about Jay Z. I don't give a fuck about Jay Z. Hey, Jay Z don't pay me no check. Whether I talk good about Jay Z or bad. Jay Z don't cut me All no I check. He don't feed me. Dame Dash clock. He don't feed me. He like he said, he didn't own a hundred percent of it. He didn't. And like I said, every time J so Dame Dash get, gets on the platform and does an interview, everybody he always asking in. him about Rockefeller. That he don't come out of his in. mouth talking about Rockefeller hey, he first. Clocked in like the very That's my whole point. He so in while in you like try to change the narrative, you can go ahead and change the narrative. He clocked in like the very niggas he talked about. He didn't own 100% of it, so he clocked in. And like I said, every single time Dame Dash gets on a platform, everybody from DJ Envy to Ray Daniels to anybody else always asking him about Rockefeller. Why nobody don't ever ask Jay Z? Well, Jay Z was wasn't part of Rockefeller. Was the hip hop? Well, well, was, was Jay Z not part of Rockefeller? So why nobody he don't ever ask Jay Z about Rock? Of what, what happened? Ain't nobody asked him to say that huh? Rockefeller was still alive and Freeway CD was coming out on Rockefeller. 